How you doing? Bed bug odors, to me, they're not repulsive. The fresh chemicals produced by the bed bugs actually smell a bit like coriander, cilantro, uh, somewhat like raspberry, and somewhat like a dark cherry. So it's, it's not that bad. And the way you can get them, if you really want to smell it, you can grab one with a forceps. And in response to being bothered, it usually produces this repellent pheromone, a chemical. But the other issue is a bed bug infestation has those odors, but it also has dead bed bug body odors. And it has the feces of the bed bugs, which is a deposited digested blood. And that oxidizes because it's iron in it with oxygen in the air. So it'll smell very rusty. So you have a very strong, somewhat repellent smell from a bed bug infestation, but not as much from the individual bed bugs. If you've smelt bed bugs before and you know that's what it is, and you have to uh, know what an infestation smells like, which would incorporate the rusty smell too, then it works. I mean, I've done it for over 30 years. I can pick out the scent on shed skins because it's the glandular secretion reservoirs are in the shed skin. And I can smell it if I bother a bed bug and then it produces a pheromone. I, I can pick up on it. If it's just a bed bug, that's crawling around and I'd sniff it, I don't pick up that small amount that's there, but of course a dog that's trained can pick it up right away on a live bed bug. It doesn't have to have that bed bug produce it because it picks up that small amount just on the bed bug itself. So if someone's used to it, yes, they can. If they've had no experience, they might pick up the smell but not realize that's a bed bug odor. So yeah, the more training, the better. But the average person probably doesn't want to go through all this training and just wants to get rid of the bed bugs anyway.